Hello Pisces and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for March to April 2023. For the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. Let's see what we have for you for the next couple of months. We have, oh, okay. You know, that card just flipped off, so I guess we're supposed to take that card too. <laughs> we have Explorer. Keep trying. There are no mistakes, just opportunities to learn and grow. You may be called to explore careers that match your fearlessness and curiosity. You may need to go wandering and trust the unknown. That's where the magic lies. So we have that first card there. Second, we have risk. Taking a calculated risk is sometimes necessary in order to advance. Have the courage to face the fear of uncertainty. Don't focus on the outcome. The odds are better than you think. So we have risk, we have explorer. We have Gaia. Now this is Earth energy. This is like Mother Earth. Um, it's very nurturing. It can bring growth, uh, stability, security. Uh, so we have very healing and um, re-energizing as well, this card. So we have spend time with nature to be healed, soothed and regroup. Protecting the planet, herbalism, livestock or working with nature could be for you. The universe is working with you to believe in its subtle magnetism to guide you. So you're definitely being supported here. It's a very supportive energy, Gaia. It can be in terms of things like cultivating new seeds as well. Oh. Let's see what we get with this deck. What do we have for Pisces? Please, Angel Spirits, Guides. Money Career Finances, only March to April 2023. Thank you. We have answers, getting some kind of answer. Finding answers. This can also be linked with answer prayers. Okay. Let's see what we have for Pisces. Please, Angel Spirits, Guides, Money, Career, Finances only. March to April 2023. Thank you. Message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. We have Justice. With that, we have the Nine of Cups. The Devil, Five of Cups, the Knight of Cups, Six of Swords, Page of Coins. And we have the King of Cups, which can be you, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female. With that, we have Justice as the overarching energy. Justice can be linked with legal situations, government institutions. It can also be linked with things like contracts as well, contractual areas. So let's clarify justice. Clarify justice for Pisces, thank you. Oh, cards have fallen out again. We've got the Six of Swords again. And we've got, we've got justice again. I mean, really, with so much emphasis on justice, justice can be a just and fair decision that's in the light of truth that restores balance and harmony. Let's clarify the devil. Queen of Swords. One 
one more card with that. We have the Five of Coins. And we have the Ace of Wands, bottom of the deck there with the Devil. This feels more, Pisces, about making the right choice for you. You know, that Knight of Cups with the Nine of Cups, I mean, Knights can bring in offers and opportunities for change, but interestingly enough, the Knight of Cups will be Pisces for me as a reader in the Minor Arcana. I just, this just, there's a strong sense in this reading of you pursuing what's going to make you happy. Because there is a feeling here that you're not happy right now. Um, but it might well be that sense of stepping the un into the unknown and pushing boundaries here. You might not have been willing to take the risk before, but there's almost a sense here, Pisces, that should you choose to move in a new direction and see the truth of whatever this devil energy is, and we'll go into that in a moment, it looks like there's greater happiness and the beginnings of new level of stability here. This doesn't feel like a legal process. It feels more like making a right choice of how you overcome the thing that challenges you and restore balance and harmony in your life. And that's what I'm seeing more. Because it feels like I see this energy as you, you pursuing what makes you happy. And the nights are all about quests, you know. The nights go on a quest. They go in search. They go on adventures, you know. Um, and that's what I'm seeing here. Again, the two of wands, a strong sense of, of breaking free of boundaries here, which we can have with that devil energy. You know, the devil keeps us within an environment or with a person, place, situation, because it's familiar, that can be our own enslavement, you know, and sometimes we see stepping into the unknown as a risk. And this is that kind of gateway here with the two of wands. A major choice or decision here, but it's empowered. It looks like you're going to, you're ready to take action in the next month or two uh, to see what's out there. Because this feels like you're taking steps to almost broaden your horizons in some way and not fearing to step into the unknown anymore. Because again, it might well be from, with a Six of Swords energy, the Six of Swords is all about bringing harmony back to our life, and it can be mental. If you've been stressed and worried, or stressed at work, or things have been preying on your mind, or that kind of energy, it can also be like our energetic, you know, putting difficulty behind us and moving on from it. This can actually be about physically moving from A to B as well, so one job to another. It's appearing twice in your reading, as is justice. There's just a strong sense here of moving from one phase of your life to another, moving from A to B, and being in that process of doing that because you're in, you're in pursuing what's going to make you happy which implies that you want greater happiness and fulfillment. That could be more money, uh, greater respect, satisfaction. However, that it could be energetically you want to be more happy. Might well be, I mean, there's a sense of bountifulness with this as well, wanting to be more bountiful. So this is all guiding the choice and decision here. It does look like something new is opening up for you here. The Ace of Wands... And again, the two of wands is moving down to the one wand now. So it looks like there is a clear path to move forward to. And the ace of wands is an exciting opportunity. Very good in terms of a new job, a new business venture, a new career path. It's something that really connects to your heart and soul. It sparks your passion, your desire. You will be very excited about this kind of energy. As you know, it just, it just has that kind of feel about it. It's that electric kind of feel. It might even involve moving or relocating or making some changes in your life as well. But with the Six of Swords, it feels like it feels like very positive. Because we have this with the devil. And with the Queen of Swords energy, I mean, this could be somebody advising you. Again, this could be your energy as well. Uh, Queen of Swords energy is somebody who sees the truth of the devil and is not afraid to cut cords, break free of an attachment. Because the Five of Coins is saying... You're, not, you're either not being paid enough, you could have been passed over in terms of promotions and climbing the ladder. This can also be energetically not feeling good enough, not feeling valued and appreciated where you are. 
the five of pentacles energy can be where we just don't feel there's enough you know we're not getting what we want out of the situation here uh, so again with the devil energy this seems to be that behavioral pattern that could be a, a boss a leader it could be a company culture could be you know the team environment and so on and so forth management uh, but this just feels like it's made you feel lack on some level and again it could be a combination of monetary practical money and also energetic because there's just this sense with the six of swords of oh finally i can just move on from whatever this devil was Again, Queen of Swords energy, seeing the truth of the situation for what it is and will make right choices and decisions on whatever needed to bring balance back in their lives. So this is that kind of energy and I feel that you're adopting that energy. And again, it might well be you're getting advice from somebody as well. But it's all about what's going to bring you greater happiness and that's what's driving this and also bounty. Ultimately, this is we're all accountable for our own actions. Again, the King of Cups somebody who will be accountable at the end of the day, who will make whatever anybody else says. Ultimately, this is somebody who will trust their intuition and make the right choice for them in terms of how they move forward. This is very much about trusting your intuition in how to bring balance back to the situation. It's a very um, emotionally balanced energy. Because we have, again, this new opportunity opening up, the Five of Cups, Pisces, it can sometimes be, in order to, to move forward in a situation we have to give up something and that's the energy here it feels like moving from a to b and that's what i'm seeing with this energy again the page of coins is a new path unfolding it is linked with a message of some kind it can be linked to a new opportunity a new door opening for you again very much in line with the ace of wands energy this feels like a positive message coming in again it can be linked with things like planting new seeds as well but it's it's a new direction that promises stability and security here. And I'm just seeing here that, I mean, it might well be that there are still things that you're going to miss. I mean, remember that devil energy, there are things that, that keep us in that devil energy. It's a strong attachment to break free of. So you might like the, the location of work. It might well be you, you like the familiarity of where you've been, you know, a length of time. And stepping into the unknown is... And breaking free of that kind of a devil energy, even though you're not happy, this is a big shift for you, you know, and it's a difficult change to make. So this is the energy here. The devil keeps us within that environment because we like things about the devil energy. Uh, you might have, you know, friends there. It might be a good kind of um, working hours. I mean, again, whatever this situation is, Pisces, there are things that you really like and that you're going to miss, and part of that process will be, I hope I'm not making that, I hope I'm not making a mistake here. I hope I'm not going to regret it. And the sense that something has to be given up in order to move in a new direction. But it feels like you're ready. Again, there's a king here. This is somebody who is their own master. So a, a strong sense here of, of, I know what's right for me and I'm going to choose from my own intuitive energy and move in the right direction for me. And it looks like you're choosing to move. Again, two justice cards in the reading. It's all about making the right choice and decision because this is all about truth. It's all about what really brings balance into our life, honest, true balance in our life. We make the right decisions for us. If we allow ourselves to stay in that kind of devil energy, whatever that devil energy will be, then justice will say to you, well, if that's a decision you make, then, you know, you reap, you reap what you sow. You know what to expect of that situation. And again, you also have a choice to move in a different direction, to walk through a different gateway here with that two of wands energy. And that's where you will see change. This is about we reap what we sow with our choices, our decisions. We see the truth though in justice. And this is all about making the right decision. Sometimes the right decision isn't always the easiest one. Certainly when devil energy is at play here. But there's a strong truth that's coming through in this reading that seems to promote change this time. We have the Six of Swords. This can be about travel, moving, relocating, moving from one job to another. But the, the, it's calm assures you're finally moving in the right direction towards calm, peace. 
that sense of things improving the more you go down this path. This is just the energy here of I know what the right choice is for me now. That's what I see for you because that's the risk factor. The risk factor I feel here in this situation here is the unknown. And the message again with justice would be don't let the fear of the unknown stop you from making the right choice for you. But again, free will, Pisces. I mean, as the King of Cups always shows, you know, we're masters of our own destiny at the end of the day. And uh, we make choices and decisions for ourselves. Spirit always gives us a choice, can strongly indicate a direction, but at the end of the day, it's up to us. So I feel that you're going to be finding answers. And where this sense of new abundance, new growth, new healing energy, uh, new bountiful energy is coming into you. You know, I love Gaia energy, but it looks like it's about exploring, broadening your horizons in some way and seeing what's out there and taking steps in the next month or two. And when you do, it looks like there is an opportunity for you. It may well include some kind of change, like I said, moving, relocating here. Not always. I mean, this can be an energetic shift as well, but it feels like it's moving from A to B, certainly in terms of jobs. But there is that sense of finally hitting solid ground, the beginnings of a new path here with a page of coins, Fi feeling that stability and security, which you wouldn't have felt with the Five of Pentacles energy. So that's the shift and change. Feeling like you're moving in a direction where you can really build on something now, where you didn't feel that before. Okay, Pisces, let's pull you an affirmation. What do we have for Pisces, please? Message for Pisces. Yeah. I listen to the intuitive wisdom of my own feelings. I am guided from within. That is absolutely the King of Cups energy. Again, male or female. Let's pull you a card from the Archangel Michael deck. What do we have for Pisces? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Yeah, number 24, prioritize self-care. You do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. There could be other people supporting this change for you here, Pisces. It might well be you didn't listen to other people as well. Partly because I think there's that sense of familiarity. Like I said, the devil can be very attractive. But also partly because maybe you were loyal. Maybe you, you know, you, you just felt loyal to the job, to the company. Uh, you know, it's that sense of, of but now you're, you're being told, put yourself first. March to April time is about you finding the way forward and definitely putting yourself first now in terms of what is going to bring you happy a sense of you're going to be on a quest i mean there's a potential here i mean there's definitely that energy that i'm getting here for you knights go on a quest and there's a sense there's a sense of in pursuit of happiness again bountifulness in terms of money but also energetic happiness here as well and when you do there is something opening up for you. There is an opportunity here. We have starfish, intuition. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less, feel more. Love that card. All intuitive energy here. And we have butterfly, emerging. Take a leap of faith. Could be some advice that Spirit's giving you there. Free will. Okay, Pisces, that's what I have for the next couple of months for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful March to April. I will see you next time.